What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Figure It Out, Out of the Basement's Black Series talk show. I'm Nate, joined with Justin. What's up, guys? And today we're going to be talking about Black Series distribution and if it has improved or not. Before we jump into the discussion, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. So, Justin, we had a poll we asking did. the community. Mm -hmm. So this is a little bit of a community episode as well. True. You asked them if distribution has improved in their general area yep i just asked general question not specifying mainline exclusive deluxe or anything that we'll get into in this episode but i just asked has black series distribution improved in your area and the results are as of recording this episode with just under 1000 votes 42 percent no 24 percent definitive yes and 34 percent slightly mm. So being an American, American politics has taught me not to just look at raw statistical data, right? Uh -huh. It all depends on how you skew those facts and how you interpret those statistics. So you could take it at face value, 42% being the majority, or you can twist some <laughs> things around and consider that 58% of people didn't say no. You got a point. That is simply just a little bit under a thousand people on here. We wanted to do this episode because it was almost 100 episodes ago. With episode 100 of Figured Out, it was called Midwest Wasteland. Mm -hmm. And it was when you and I went out as a vlog for episode 100 and we found Jack and shit. And Jack left town. So it's over a hundred episodes later, so I just wanted to beg the question has Black Series distribution improved? It's one of the biggest criticisms of the line, a very valid criticism, mm -hmm. extremely valid, at least like, you know, in years past. But if we're just talking mainline, I think I wanna make mainline the main focus and then maybe just talk about the exclusive issue as a separate video. I would say that's probably warranted. Because when it comes to exclusives, there's more than one problem mm -hmm. aside from distribution. So right. we're kind of focusing on mainline. And when I beg you the question, Nate, just your own personal, no analytical data that we literally don't have access to. It's impossible to know the true answer to this. Yeah. But if I were to ask you that question, what would you say? Based on our specific area, I would say yes distribution has improved right i would agree like 100 percent. it used to be so difficult to find anything especially exclusive figures mm -hmm. but within the past couple of years or so i see mainline waves everywhere mm -hmm. exclusives pretty much everywhere besides walmart walmart is still a nightmare <laughs> yeah we have a channel in our discord called wild west where people from all over the country and particularly for this example that i'm using all over the united states we have people sending in just photos of whatever they're seeing mm -hmm. and from what i see again all over the country it looks like stuff certain stuff is pretty healthy when it comes to stock Obviously, it seems like cherry picking because in this episode, I'm going to be putting in a bunch of pictures of people's photos from the Discord. Mm -hmm. And I don't particularly mean to cherry pick, but it just shows that it's not just our area that has stock. Because, like, I could go to the store, take a picture, and use that as proof. That's not really proof. Mm -hmm. That's just our particular area. So, from what I've seen in our Discord, stuff seems to be pretty like well stocked so let's just talk about mainline for a second let's talk about in-store uh -huh. mainline walmart and target absolutely especially target yeah i would say target more specifically we live in the same area but we do live in two separate cities that mm -hmm. both have a corresponding walmart uh, and you have a target in a city that's a little bit further from me mm -hmm. but closer to you so in that aspect i think in my experience in my general area target has like improved like ten thousand percent right i have seen the highly desirable ones too like specifically with the last like obi-wan kenobi wave you know i've encountered the vader i've encountered the fifth brother reva you know mm -hmm. the figures that people really figuring dan and figuring dan 
were the ones that people really wanted were still hanging around and i've seen them like you know multiples so like it seems like they might be getting more cases again right because usually i would say a year ago and before that even like 2020 2021 uh-huh. it seemed like and you can prove this you whether you use like brick seeker pop finder in our area at least target walmart they used to get one case of the new wave and that would be it yeah and they would never restock it 2022 specifically with like wave 30 two thirty three thirty four mm-hmm. like the client ahsoka echo wave found that everywhere yeah death, wa- death watch mando found that everywhere and this new wave yep. well the current wave right finding that everywhere as well so they absolutely are getting more than one case they are getting multiple cases and that is good yeah really makes me think of a couple different things where i think a few years ago you could directly link how much Star Wars product was in a store to the disappointing sales of the sequel trilogy merchandise Mm. where like big box retailers really scaled back on their Star Wars stuff. Right. And I think that's why for a few years they were only getting the one case because they just were like, Star Wars is too risky. We had too much clearance. Mm -hmm. Like we're going to stop buying so much of this product. Yeah. And it wasn't good for Hasbro either because there was a year there. I forget if it was 20... 15 16 or 17 but they were reporting losses Uh associated with star wars for the first time in like x amount of years yeah i think that kind of started to lead to the really bad distribution issues Mm. that we saw for a while but it seems like especially since the pandemic and with a lot of people getting into action figure collecting due to that there has been a pretty big explosion in that popularity so from really like 2020 onward that was when i feel like you and i really started finding like the figures in stores consistently right which was like a brand new thing yeah and now, like it it had been years but it, not only in store distribution has improved in our opinion and in our area yeah online i can objectively say oh without because a doubt everyone has access to the internet and i can tell there is so much stuff in stock particularly with mainline we'll talk a little bit about exclusives as well but with all of the online options Mm -hmm. especially with mainline figures big bad toy store just go to their website go to the black series section they have so much stuff in stock same thing with entertainment earth you could buy literally the new case right now of the current wave amazon literally has like death watch mando in stock that's an army builder for Mm -hmm. less than retail a lot of this stuff is less than retail as well yeah there is so much online stock as well for mainline and i will say uh spoilers for the separate video but i think exclusives have improved as well what would you say about in-store exclusives though again besides walmart because <laughs> i think walmart still has really horrible issues it's particularly mine you know mine is like oh yeah. bottom of the barrel tier walmart oh i still i will find mainline at my walmart but i will never find walmart exclusive i don't think i think the last walmart exclusive i actually saw in store mm-hmm I couldn't tell you. It's been years. It's been literal years. Yeah, probably Clone Wars. Yeah. The Galaxy Box Literal Clone Wars. years. <laughs> literal years. <laughs> but to answer that question, besides Walmart, I think everywhere else that has exclusives has improved. Specifically, you could see this with GameStop. Oh. When we look back to when the gaming greats first started, mm. remember how hard it was to find Jedi Knight Revan? Yeah, we were trying to how, find Revan and the droid. And unbelievably difficult it was to get the heavy battle droid. Two figures that it was calling GameStops, checking the website, yeah. literally having, thank you, David Wolfstalker, people hold the figure back for nice. me so that I could drive cities away to grab it mm-hmm. and now you look at the gaming greats line and any gaming greats, i don't even pre-order anymore exactly any gaming greats figure you can walk into gamestop and they have plenty yep we were just showing off the video clip in our most recent stream about i walked into this smaller gamestop location mm-hmm. and they had the new b1 they had the new 
KX Security Droid, Jedi Fallen Order Riot Scout Trooper, Sev Fixer, The Wookiee, The Holiday Wookiee. They had every new gaming great in that store. I think GameStop is easily the best for exclusives. Mm-hmm. It kind of sucks paying that $28 price point for each of them, but at the uh-huh. very uh-huh. least, they carry their own exclusives. Same thing with Target. Yep. I haven't had any issue whether that be maldo mando that's pretty much a peg warmer now yeah i would say the real recent litmus test for target is the droids black series boba fett yeah which was a figure that sold out in two seconds flat on target's website Mm -hmm. people were clamoring for it it didn't have a release date for literally an entire calendar year and of course with it being boba fett you know people are just ready to snatch it up at a moment's notice Absolutely. so the fact that there's been multiple moments where i've casually walked into target at night after work and there's droids boba fett yeah right there on the shelf yep holiday mando holiday clone the halloween one it's been super easy finding target exclusive stuff mostly because it's not all that desirable stuff right, on right. the grand scheme which, of things which, which i is think good yeah and that's also something that could you know contribute to these figures being easier to find is I just did find a 212 at walgreens and so did you true that is true so walgreens is still pretty trash though oh yeah honestly i mean 212 for a while there was just like luck of the draw mm-hmm. finding it in the wild at least initially it did go up at, at a few other places same thing with 187 it went up for a few hours in stock ready to buy it but then kind of just sold out and yeah. luck of the draw So I think exclusive in store is still a big issue. And I think exclusives in general have many more issues than just distribution. Mm -hmm. And again, we're gonna make that sort of a separate video. So in store exclusive distribution, overall still pretty poor because GameStop and Target are great. Walmart and Walgreens, that's, you know, basically half. Yeah. But obviously fan channel exclusive stuff, that's as easy as just Point and stop. Yeah, point so, and click. Yeah. How about deluxe distribution, Nate? Because you could find those anywhere. That is that is true, but even that, like, I am genuinely shocked by how many dark troopers I have seen recently. I agree. And I mean they don't last long. Particularly at Target. Yeah. Target though, Best Buy has had a nice little stockpile, but you know, I come in and I see four and then I come in a couple weeks later and then there's one left and then I come back and there's four more. Yeah, they so, keep restocking them. So it's like they're selling and they're getting they're just getting stocked though. Yeah, same with Throne Room Boba Fett. I see him at Target all the time now. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a lot of people on our Discord who have been finding Throne Room Boba. I'm trying to think of some of the other deluxe saw was really really easy to get at yeah. target even went on clearance a lot which again that kind of begs the question to sort of close out this episode is it that distribution is getting better or is it that the s- demand is no longer as high as it once was yeah, it's a hard question to answer because we don't have hard sales data at the end of the day right this is purely opinion based conjecture I think that there is some, just based on the comments that we get, there is definitely some waning interest in the line, especially with the increased prices. Mm. But overall, I would just say that the distribution has just improved. Stores seem to be purchasing more Star Wars product to put on the shelf. Mm. That usually means because it's selling. So I would say that it's probably just because distribution has improved, but I won't discount that there is, at this current moment, waning interest due to the insane price hikes. Right. I would pretty much echo that completely. And again, stores like Walmart and Target, at least in our area, they used to get one case yeah. and then be done until the next regular wave. Now they're getting multiple cases of each wave. So by definition, I think distribution is improving in general yes across the united states but i know we're gonna have comments and we're gonna you know please let us know because it's interesting and we like to know and like to discuss in the comments if 
distribution has improved in your area? And if so, to what degree? Mainline, exclusives, and deluxe. Three different categories for distribution. They all have different SKUs. We didn't even really talk about archive, but I have no issue finding archive either. Yeah. There's only certain exclusives I really sweat these days, and that's usually when they are a clone trooper or something Clone Wars related. Right. But otherwise, I'm just straight chilling. I know I'm I have stopped pre-ordering a lot of figures because I just have that much confidence that I'll be able to find them in the wild. And yeah. I never in a million years thought I would be able to say that. Yeah. But like even for GameStop exclusives, I just straight up don't pre-order them anymore. Yep. There's some there are certain mainline things that are like brand new hot fire, all new sculpts that I will initially not pre-order because I will find them in store one way or another. And that's not even through like hardcore hunting. Right. Most of my finds are super casual, grocery shopping. Yep. I was going to say our days of hardcore hunting are long, long gone. Mm -hmm. Especially for me. Like I really don't go on the hunt anymore. I stop at the one target that's right by my job, you know, yeah. two or three times a week. Just swoop in there real quick, swoop out and go home. Yep. I don't even look at my Walmart because I know I'm just going to be wasting my time. Yeah, because again, online distribution has also significantly improved yeah. between Big Bad Do Store, Dorkside, Entertainment Earth, Amazon. So many great online retailers that have tons and tons of stuff yeah. in stock and a lot of it is on sale. Yep. Ultimately, I'm saying yes. Just to generally answer the question, I am saying yes, Black Series distribution has improved. Yep. We can only really speak for the United States because obviously once you go international, and I'm sure you guys will be chiming in, it's a whole different yeah. ball game. Right. So there you have it. That was our episode. I definitely agree with you, Justin. I think distribution is on the up and up, and I think that, you know, it's good to be able to find a lot of these figures in store and not have to pay shipping. It's always fun. I still really enjoy the thrill of the hunt, but mm -hmm. you know, it's just being an adult. True. <laughs> Full-time job. I don't want to go on the hunt anymore. I'm tired. I want to go home. <laughs> But let us know your personal experience in your area in the comments down below. Of course, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. We're always talking about Star Wars The Black Series here on the channel. And if you'd like to support us in a more direct manner, we do also offer a channel membership. For 99 cents a month, you get a custom Clone Trooper name badge and custom emojis that you can use on our videos and in our live streams, which are every single Sunday at 1 p.m. Central Time. Vote in our polls. We have a few polls over on the community tab on our YouTube channel. I think best photo reel is up and then most elusive figure of 2022 is up. So be sure to vote for this year's Black Series Awards. Also, Justin, join that Discord. You gotta join that Discord. You gotta join the Discord. Best way to get them in stock figgies. I promise you. I promise you. Mm -hmm. There's links for everything in the description down below. Special thank you to our current channel members. Your continued support is truly appreciated. And thank you to everyone else out there for simply watching, liking, and subscribing and sharing these videos with your Star Wars figure loving friends. I'm Nate. Join with Justin. See you guys later. And we will see you all next time on Out of the Basement.